Okay, 1.4, optimize perimeter and area. Okay, so optimization, this is finding values that make a given quantity the greatest or the least, depending on the question, possible, given a set of conditions, okay? The conditions are called constraints. So a constraint is a condition that limits a design option. So there are two that we're going to be focusing on. They've been taught since grade 10, so this might be a little bit of a review. But optimizing the area of a rectangle, if we have four sides, because remember, a square is a special rectangle. But if we're taking into account four sides, all we do is we draw a square. A square optimizes, um, optimizes like the rectangle. Okay, so what it's going to do, it's going to maximize the area for a given perimeter. And what we would do to find the side length, I put S here, it could be L, right, or S. So this side length will be the perimeter divided by 4, and this will be for all of them. Okay, so that one's a little bit easy because we're all used to squares, but now optimizing if we want a rectangle that we're only doing three sides. So a lot of the times, maybe like this is a house or a river or like hedges, and we don't have to like actually fence in all four sides. A lot of the time we only fence in three sides. So to optimize the area, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same equation. So like the side length is gonna be P over four, okay? In this case, we can call it the width. Okay, so the width is going to be the P over 4, and then this would be like the length, let's call that L, okay, for length, just so I can label the uh, diagram the same way. It's going to be two times that, so this is going to be one quarter of it, one quarter, and then half, right, two quarters. Okay, the shape will be a rectangle with the width, that is two times the length, or the length that is two times width, depending on how you draw it. Okay, in this case, the length is two times the width. Okay, example one. What dimensions will provide the maximum area for a rectangle with each perimeter? And then what's the area? Okay, so if I have a perimeter of 20, what's going to happen is I'm going to take that 20, and my side length is going to be divided by 4. My side length is going to be 5 meters. Okay, so this is going to be 5 by 5. Let me write it like this, a 5 by 5 square. Okay, so the area is 5 times 5, which is 25 meters squared. Okay, perimeter 2, 36. So we're going to take that 36, we're going to divide it by 4. Okay, we get 9 meters. So we're going to have a square or a rectangle that's a 9 by 9 and we can write it 9 by 9. So our area is going to be 9 times 9, which is 81 meters squared. Okay, and then the exact same thing for 83. So I threw in an 83 just so that we can get a little bit of a decimal going. So 83 divided by 4 is 20.75. So if we were to draw a rectangle with side lengths 20.75, We can write the dimensions 20.75 by 20.75, and then the area is 20.75 squared, essentially, and we would get 430.5625 meters squared. Example two, a rectangular enclosure is to be created using 104 meters of rope. So this tells me that our perimeter is 104 meters. What are the dimensions of the rectangle of maximum area? Okay, so if we're looking for a rectangle, and unless it says that we're only doing this on three sides, the assumption is that it's on all four sides, this is going to be a square. So the length is going to be 104 divided by 4, which is going to be 26. So the length is going to be 26, and then the width is going to be 26 as well. So uh, dimensions 
are 26 by 26. And then the area is going to be 26 squared, which is 676. And this is going to be measured in meters. And area is 676 meters squared. Oh, sorry, meters squared. Example three, a rectangular area is to be enclosed with 12 meters of fencing. What is the maximum area that can be enclosed if the fencing is on all four sides? Okay, so for A, we're going to go the length is 12 over 4, which is 3 meters. So if we have a rectangle with that, that's a 3 by 3, the area is going to be 3 times 3, which is 9 meters squared. Okay, now suppose an existing hedge is to enclose one side, and then we have a rectangle here. What are the new dimensions that will maximize the area? So we're still going to go, the length is going to be 12 over 4, which is 3. So these two side lengths are going to be 3 and 3. But this length here is going to be, let's call it the width, it's going to be 2 times the length. So 2 times 3, which is 6. 6 meters. So the area is going to be 6 times 3, which is 18 meters squared. So if you actually take a look at these two, just by having an existing hedge, you're actually able to double the area. So therefore, um, max area is 9 meters squared with four sides and 18 meters squared with three sides.